Well, hey everybody, it's Outland, and right now I am uh, in my backyard and fiddling around with my uh, my new Hennessy hex tarp that I've got over Christmas and haven't played with at all yet. And um, beautiful day today. It's about 70 some degrees. I actually broke a sweat cutting the grass today, and I was like, man, it is time. It is time. <laughs> so um, got it out here and tried setting up a ridge line. I don't have a whole lot of area for a hammock i don't have a real good spot to put one now you've seen before i've used uh maybe you've seen before i've used this tree and that uh utility pole to hang and that works for my hennessy hammock i actually have enough cordage to go across there but my ridge line that i was going to test with um for this was not long enough so what i did was we have this uh clothesline that's that's been here and i was like why am i not using the clothesline to test the tarp voila so i've got it rigged on the clothesline now the clothesline is not the most taut um line it's it's kind of it, 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 it it's real stretchy but it works it's okay it's tight enough and just to test this out and to test this theory out and make sure that everything's working as it should um i spent basically this entire weekend whenever i had some free time uh, watching a bunch of Shug's videos, re-watching some of his tarp tutorials and things like that. I learned so much from him, I'll tell you. He's got, the guy is just, he's a saint. Uh, his stuff is just amazing. So I'm going to post a link to Shug's videos. You definitely want to check out his tarp tutorial, tarp and hammock tutorial. Uh, it's a three-part series. Absolutely amazing. It goes over all the things. And everything from knots to how to stake it down and everything, um, fantastic. So what I have done is I've done kind of a, a mishmash of, of techniques that he's shown and things like that. So this works really well for what, I, what I'm trying to do here. And I think this setup is going to work pretty well, honestly. So what I have here, I have... This is some stretchy, stretchy paracord, basically, uh, instead of just regular shot cord, but it's, 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 it's like shot cord. I uh, got this from Amazon. I think it came from Paracord Planet, though, and they sell huge hanks of this for practically nothing. I think I got like 50 feet for 8 bucks or something like that. But it's a nice glow, you know, really visible. I, wa I wanted high-vis because that's why I put the, uh, the, the bright yellow lines all over because I want high-vis. I'm going to have a yellow ridge line as well but that's not as critical what's really critical is is these ridge lines because you want these things you don't want to be tripping over these <laughs> you really don't want to be tripping these and pulling your stakes out and everything else so what I did here was just tied this around just knotted that tied this through Lark's headed this here right through so I have a loop on my lines come down here I'm using um, these are the Vargo titanium nail pegs for stakes. Not my favorite choice. I really want to get some shepherd hook titanium stakes, but these work fine. Um, and basically just a Marlin spike hitch, which just like Suge shows in his videos, works fantastic. I love that Marlin spike hitch. Just an amazing freaking knot. And all I have to do is yank, pull this out, pull the knot, pull the line, and it's completely straight. Absolutely awesome. So then what I've done up here, uh, basically prussic knot with some of the line. This is some of the cord that came with the Hennessy hex tarp that I've swapped everything out for. Uh, this stuff works pretty well, though. This is pretty strong cord. So I have swapped this out, made a prussic knot on each end. And then on my D-ring, my triangle rings here, I have just this really cheap carabiner, which holds enough strength you could do really anything here you could loop this through you could use a toggle um, you know if, if these carabiners broke I would not be that screwed because I could just bring this in and I could toggle that with a stick or anything I just like the convenience factor of these uh, of these carabiners because I could just go blump blump clip and boom uh, I think that's pretty cool we'll see how that goes out in the field though when I do that but you can see it's pretty tight and with these prussics, not going anywhere. This isn't going anywhere. 
I can make it as tight as I need to do, and I can bring this up and down the ridge line. So you know, once I get my hammock nice and centered under there, I you know I can move it, move it down or whatever. So I think it's going to work pretty well. So far, I really like this tarp. Uh, the hardest thing I'm learning, I'm trying to learn how to um, kind of how to stake it out the correct way so it doesn't flop around. See, I've kind of got this floppy thing going on. It's kind of breezy, so I've got this floppiness going on, and uh, don't really care for that. I don't. But it's not the worst thing in the world. But you know, if it was really windy, that could be a that could be a problem. And this is such a big tarp. That this thing could just, I could just see it flapping up. Um, you know, I'm going to put the snake skins on it. They're over there on the ground. I'll put the snake skins on it, and uh, so they'll be enclosed in the snake skins. And then, uh, you know, that that should be easier. As Suge shows in his videos, uh, you basically, you know, if it's super windy out, you want to take, you know, one half out. You take one snake skin off stake it get it nice and, and fit and then do the other side and that kind of cuts down on this thing flopping around and, and this is a big tarp though but this is a nice quality tarp it's not cuban fiber you know it's but it's good quality you know for the for the price and everything and uh, it's really nicely stitched nice options here you've got mitten hooks and these rings these plastic rings um, like i said i'm using this this here as like a shock absorber um, to kind of and it gives me some extra line as well. So I, I think it's it's going to work out pretty well. I can't wait to uh, actually get this out in the field and give it a try. But uh, you know, you can do really cool things with this. You can do porch mode, whatever else. Now this Hennessy hammock right here retails for about 70, 80 bucks, depending on where you look. I got on Amazon, I think for 70. Uh, it's a nice start. You know, if you're just starting out in hammock camping or whatever, it's not the lightest thing in the world. But you don't. You know, for the price, you know, compared to a Cuban fiber tarp, you know, I've priced the Cuban fiber tarps and they're hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And this thing is going to do a great job. And this is good quality. Um, if you guys follow Captain Burr's, uh, his YouTube channel, he did a review of this a while back and he's the one who actually sold me on this because I have the hammock, the Hennessy rig already and just wanted to complete the whole Hennessy system. But he had really good things to say about this, this tarp as well. Uh, about the quality of it, the stitching, um, just you know the the weight factor. Some people balk at, but you know whatever. Uh, it really, um, I'm not a gram counter. I never have been, and I am getting lighter and on my stuff and, and more quality gear. But that's about it. Man, that was kind of a bigger pain than I thought to get it in this. I don't know if it's the size of these snakeskins I have or what, but I thought these were XLs. They should be. I don't know if extra large means length or girth. I don't. I need to research that a little bit more. But uh, I did get it in. It's a tight fit. It's it's squished in there. But I guess that's kind of the point of a stuff sack. So I love the snakeskins though. These things are great. They work out really well. And man, you just throw it in there and. When it comes time to deploy, that's that's the where the magic happens because you just clip these ends up. I would I would tie this ridge line, clip this up like this to two trees, do my press six there, tighten it out, and then you know just roll these back. Boom, it's like a sock. So the snake skins are fantastic. They are your best friend when you're tarp camping and hammock camping. That's for sure. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and I'll talk to you very soon. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy, sky And never know, dear, I want to love you. They don't take my sunshine away, too. Yep, that's how I speak now, but.